Hello, hopscotchers. Let's talk about values. Values are super cool, so I'm going to need some special equipment for this video. A value, or variable, is a holder for a number. You can think of values like pieces of information about certain things. Let's take you, for example. You have values like your age and your height your address and your birthday, and loads of other pieces of information. My sunglasses have values too, like their height and their width and their darkness and their coolness, but they really don't have an address or a birthday because those things don't matter to sunglasses. Okay, so back to you. Let's think about one of your values, age. You always know your own age, even though it changes every year, but I don't know how old you are. I can ask you, or I can look it up somewhere, and then I'd know. Or, I can tell you to jump a number of times equal to your age. That way, I can use your age value without ever having to know what it equals. In Hopscotch, you can use a value any time you would use a number. When you tap inside one of these ovals to type in a number, the side panel shows you the calculator. That's where we do numbers and equations and stuff. But if you switch to the Values tab, you get loads more choices. Every character in your project has their own values, and so does the stage itself. Cupcake has a rotation, an X position, a Y position, an invisibility, a size, and a speed. If you tap the arrow, it goes over to the iPad's values, which are different because the iPad cares about different stuff. The iPad's values are width, height, and how far it's tilted in every direction. So now that you've seen where the values are, let's use them to make a hologram. I've started this project by choosing two emoji that look similar. I've given them both rules to make them grow to be the same size, and I've put them right on top of each other. Now let's make them into a hologram that changes when you tilt the iPad. The hologram works by setting the emoji's invisibility percent to be equal to the percent that the iPad is tilted up. You never need to know what either of these numbers equal, because everyone keeps track of their own values. Let's give the emoji that's on top a new rule. When project is started, let's set the invisibility to, here we go, change the tab to values, go over to the iPad and find tilt up percent. Now, wait, we're not done yet. Remember, we want this to work over and over again, so we need to put our invisibility block inside a repeat forever. Now tap play, and ta-da! Hologram sunglasses! I've got a lot more to say about values, so check back soon for more videos. And remember to have ideas and make mistakes. That's how we learn.